Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Crystal and I'm so glad you decided to stop by and see what new video I've posted. This one's about dragonflies and I'm going to use it with a paint pour idea. And what I'm doing is I am just simply doing the old-fashioned school technique where you just rub like that, rub your image with the pencil and it comes out here. Or if it was another piece of paper, but this is frisket paper. Frisket paper. And I got this idea from AB Creative. There we go. I think, I think you should be able to see that. Original frisket. It was actually her link that took me to Amazon and I purchased it because I thought that's brilliant. Finally, something that is not so adhesive that it'll leave glue behind, but yet you can block out images with acrylic work and, po and pores um, just like you would use the masking fluid in a watercolor and it's a liquid, and I was just looking, it should be somewhere in front of me, but just a little jar and it's liquid. A little different for that, because you're working on paper. Here, we're gonna be working um, with, you know, just transferring it in here, then I'm gonna put it on the canvas. Sorry, I got tongue-tied. Didn't know which direction I was going there, guys. <laughs> but yes, this is gonna go on a canvas. And then we're, it's going to cover up that space, and we're going to do a paint pour over the top of that. Okay, let me get everything out. So after, you know, we have it, I thought somebody was at the door, so I had to stop the film for a minute, but we're going to do, if you enjoy fussy cutting, you'll like this. I'm not so big into it, but this idea came to me, and I think it's going to be really pretty. Really, really pretty. <laughs> Sound like a kid. It's going to be so pretty, Mom. Okay. I'll save you from this. I'm sure it's probably awful on you, too. We've got everything out now, guys. I did what uh, I was telling you about with the Frisca paper. Um, I'm going to save this little image anyway. There, I maybe could lay it on a piece of clay and... Um, make a uh, a real dragonfly out of clay that could fly around, right? My imagination, right? Never goes away. <laughs> anyway, that is the backing of the adhesive plastic. It is adhered to the canvas because when I was taking it apart, it, there was no time. I had no free hand to hit a button. So I just had to put it down. So there it is. I'm hoping it can be seen. But if, if I'm rolling my hands across it, I hope that helped a little. Plus, I'm trying to make sure that it's going to have a good seal. Because we're going to do a pour over it, a swipe pour. And um, so have your paper towel. If you're doing it with me, if, if I was so lucky, have your paper towels ready. Uh, that's what I use, but you can use whatever you want. I just wet this part of it down with water. This is a technique, again, from AB Creative. Um, she has so many great ideas, um, so I just want to always give her the inspiration because she showed me about that. I was using a piece of plastic. Now, it worked, you know, but it wasn't as well. So I thank her for the frisket paper. Thank you. And thank you for the, you know, just building on top of a, a media after media after media. She is so good. All right. With all that being said, let's get started. Let's get some colors on here and then we'll, we're going to swipe it with black. 
Yes, okay, there's my, I was going to say, where is it at? <laughs> there it be. Okay. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. I think what I'll do, too, is I need, you know what, I need to tape the sides. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Making sure, yes, okay, we're on. I always have to double check. Okay. Got a good view, I hope. All right. Um, the first swiping color I'm going to throw on here is going to be some blue. Okay. It's a good amount of blue, I'd say, Crystal. Yes. A lot. Didn't I? Oopsie. Oh, well, it'll be all right. Oh, by the way, just in case somebody doesn't know, I do use Arteza paints and some Winter and Newton. Not a whole lot, but some. If I'm doing a watercolor, for sure I use it. But. Okay, I'm trying to think of color combinations, guys. What else? What do I need next? I'm going to be swiping with black, so let's try. I don't want my canvas too overloaded, but it's getting loaded, isn't it? <laughs> it doesn't quite matter what I want. It's kind of giving me what it wants now. Whoops, and I... See there? I said I wasn't going to do that. I did. There I go, dunking my jewelry into the paint again. I meant to take it off. Forgot. There we go. I remember now. Now it's too late. <laughs> I'm going to throw a little green in there just for the heck of it. Yeah. It's always my gut. Is it like that for anybody else? Kind of, you just kind of go with what your gut feels. Ooh, I like that yellow. It's not properly mixed. So, and I don't have time. I've already got it on canvas. Yeah. Let me get it good with this stuff that's ready here. I feel so well. I'll collect all of the extra um, paint that falls off over the side. That I will do for sure. Just rolling this over a little. Whoops. I don't want my little table over. There we go. Still want you to be able to see. Oh my. Why are you getting some rolling over? You know, come back. I know I had to move you for a second. Well, let's just go ahead and be messy with it. I'd say I'm being pretty messy. Yes, very messy. Okay, there goes our swipe color. And here goes our swipe. Remembering just to wet the bottom half of your napkin. Then just gently let it sit on that. Then pull. Let's see what we get from that. I just kept on doing it, didn't I? I just kept right on just swiping and swiping again and again. Oh, my goodness. I wonder what it's going to be. The suspense. It's killing me. Oh, good. I am seeing some 
I hope my camera's on and everything. Nothing went wrong. Always seems to something go, go wrong if I got any action going on. Okay. A little better there, maybe, huh? Yeah. Okay. Think I'm better. If I made it bad, I'm going to be so mad at myself. <laughs> I'm all excited. This looks like midnight black. I'm trying to do something for a friend of mine who is online a lot and uh, it's going to have to be just the right project and I, I just can't seem to figure it out. She wanted me to figure it out. So that's about all that's on my mind. What's on y'all's mind tonight? Isn't that pretty, pretty? Just wanted to make sure I had as much paint off my fingertips as we could, even though I got gloves on, because I want to pick up my little flamethrower here. Hey, remember when I first started out? I had this great big, old, huge mankind, big butane. You know, you turned it on, and flame would light out about that far. <laughs> but back here, oh my gosh. Then they have this wonderful little nifty little thing, and I love it. Refillable. <laughs> I'm advertising for them. I don't know, a torch, I think it's called. I don't know. My husband got it for me, though. So I thought I'd just come and see if there's anything going to happen for us or not. Rest a little bit. I may have to do another swipe. Excuse me. I am thirsty. Excuse me, my goodness. I am not happy with this, guys. How's, how does anybody else feel? I think what I'm going to do is let some paint just fall off. See what happens. Other than I may, I, oh, and I, you know, I have. Has anybody ever sprung their, sprang their thumb before? And I did. And it hurts. It's bothering me. I think it's been rainy and humid all day. Maybe that's why it's hurting more. Huh. Well, what are you gonna do? Anything? I needed some action on my palette tonight. Come on. Man, yeah, it just doesn't seem gonna do anything, does it? Hmm. I was going to tell you, by the way, on these torches, when you let off, the flame does not disappear immediately like a Bic lighter. It'll leave a flame about that much and slowly goes away. So don't, we're, we're usually us crafters surrounded with paper products, so just remember that, because that can catch on fire. If you just set it down immediately, it would have. Now, again, not happy at all here. 
see if some more of that black will come off. Maybe it's just too much. It's a beautiful color down below. <laughs> Would like it to be in yeah though. If you don't mind. Hmm. What do I do? What do I do? Okay, you know what? I'm going to be brave and go in and I'm going to do a swipe. Only this time I'm going to do it in white. Yes, I'm just, I will be scooping that paint up, by the way, that's underneath there. If it's bothering anybody else, like it is me, just to let you know, it'll be good. And then it usually will be this beautiful color that I really, really like. So, you just scoop it up, put it back in your bottle. Because they were clean paper towels, you know, if you're working on stuff that's dirty, don't do that. Well, that was good. Stuck to my thumb there. Did y'all see that? Yeah, that was wonderful. Not so much. Now it really is all in my hands. Okay. There we go. Because guess what? I didn't have anything to swipe with. Set, go. Oh, well, it's awful. There we go. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, I don't care if it gives me any cells at all. I love that wiggle pattern. Yes, yes, and I want to get that other paint too that's under there. Ah, looky there, looky there. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Yes, just what I was looking for. Good. And check the hands again, because I can't tell with the gloves on. Otherwise, everything around me is going to be white or black or some color. I just kind of like the way it's coming anyway, but anyway. Get out of the wall. We'll see if there's anything. I don't know. Getting a workout. I keep going until I have nothing else goes away or I singe it. <laughs> now you can see how that had to how it still had flame. Okay. So always wait. My channel is not for kids. Okay, not for kids. Nothing here is for kids at, on my channel at all. So, just want to make sure that that is said. Hmm. Just, you know, I'm just not getting wowed today. It's pretty, somewhat. I still didn't get the amount of sales that I wanted. Not sure why. I just don't know. I just don't know. Some are moving, though. And opening up. Got a split over here happening. Oh, we got some intricate blue coming through here. 
It's just wanting to be lazy and take its own sweet time, I think. Okay, and I don't want to lose that either. To stop it from running down your, off your canvas, you're supposed to wipe your sides. And I know how everybody loves the sides because they look like the front. But when I got this little amount of cells, I'm going to prevent losing them off the canvas. Okay. Be right back. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. I grabbed a snack. Nothing else, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, on the next one, I hopefully maybe I'll get more. I'm not really sure what the deal was tonight. All right. Bye from Florida. Bye to everyone that subscribes. I love all of y'all. Thank you for being patient with me. Time after time, messed up video or whatever. Um, new subscribers, hey, welcome. And if you're not a subscriber, become one. Be a part of my family. I like to put out a lot of videos and do a lot of art every day. Just because it makes me happy. Okay, thank you. Bye. It has been 24 hours, and uh, the paint pour was completely dry, as you can see. And we put on the uh, frisket to outline our dragonfly, and it did that. The paint dried, and I could not wait to get it off. So, <laughs> I did anyway, and all you need is one of these little Dollar Tree gadgets here. And it's I think it's for the cricket doing words and stuff but you can pick up your frisket paper by this and you just get a little bit up and wiggle it around and then you pull it off and that was what was underneath the top paint pour me trying to cover up a, a bad paint pour that I didn't like not so thrilled with this either but we got this going on and I think what I'm going to do is make some sort of a frame like that and then whiten the, this the inside part so this stands out so that is the plan okay guys what I'm doing is um, putting the tape blue tape around I'm also checking to see whether y'all are in good view there you go um, blue taped it around because I want it to be a frame this beautiful stuff here now this is our um, dragonfly that we used for skit and took it off after the paint pour was dry over another paint pour so now that is what's showing here what I'm going to do now is just come in and take out the color and just so that the dragonfly appears okay 
So here we go. I'm just going to use a little bit of white and uh, make sure everything is sealed good. Basically what I'll be doing is just doing what you're seeing. I'm going to cover in all this with white. Just plain titanium white. Okay. I'm not going to put you through that long wait though. Waiting for it to dry and it may take another coat. Okay, I can't wait any longer. I've, I'm dying to take off the tape. Um, so... I was real careful and painted. I put two layers of paint. It, it, it's probably not dry all the way, but I think it should be dry enough for me to peel off. Oh, I love that. Oh, look how pretty and clean that came off. So nice. So nice. Okay, Crystal, don't mess it up. Easy. Easy. Isn't that cool? That looks like the dragonfly is flying out of the, uh, or on top of the framed canvas. <laughs> My imagination. Oop. Pay attention there. I almost messed up on a corner right there. Some of the, but I can take that with a scalpel off. Not easy. Okay. Oh, I keep forgetting I have one of the turntable things. Get off my finger. Go in the garbage. Thank you. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, perfect. Oh, good. Perfect. We only have one flaw. Right there, which I could take off with the scalpel, which I'm going to do right now. There. Boom. Gone. Yeah, paint is still wet, so I'm not going to touch anything. I love it. Look. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Flying off. And that is it. I'm going to put my signature on that. Uh, I might come in and do a little detail on the... Yeah, I may do just a little more detail on it. I'm trying to think what I want to do here. Maybe bring in some shadows. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, so we'll do that. Some shadows. Uh, of the frame itself and then shadows of the dragonfly. Just thinking. Liken, see this was a paint pour that I did under it, which is underneath here. And I think it, it's so beautiful. Love it. And I love, the only thing here though is I don't, it bled somewhat. So I have to come in and kind of fix this area right here, I think. And uh, so that it looks better. It must have bled through there. That's all I can think. Because there is none of this. It's actually... I don't know what it is. Anyway, it's there and I'm going to get rid of it somehow. Alright. Trying to think. It's too wet right now really to work with it. I'm going to let it dry some more. Uh, before I come in and do shadows on it. Okay, we're all done. There is our beautiful dragonfly. Whoops, <laughs> as I drop it. And I love it. Um, we got to give credit to me, M-I-I -I Paintings. She is who gave me the inspiration to do it. What a great idea. And I thank her for her creativity. And uh, I'll try to remember to make sure I put her name in the description box as well. Thank you for joining me. It was um, a quick video, I am hoping. Have a good day. Thank you. 
Okay, I can't wait any longer. I've, I'm dying to take off the tape. Um, so, I was real careful and painted. I put two layers of paint. It, it, it's probably not dry all the way, but I think it should be dry enough for me to peel off. Oh, I love that. Oh, look how pretty and clean that came off. So nice. So nice. Okay, Crystal, don't mess it up. Easy. Easy. Isn't that cool? That looks like the dragonfly is flying out of the, uh, or on top of the framed canvas. <laughs> My imagination. Pay attention there. I almost messed up on a corner right there. Some of the, but I can take that with a scalpel off. Not easy. Okay. Oh, I keep forgetting I have one of the turntable things. Get off my finger. Go in the garbage. Thank you. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, perfect. Oh, good. Perfect. We only have one flaw right there, which I could take off with the scalpel, which I'm going to do right now. There. Boom. Gone. Yeah, paint is still wet, so I'm not going to touch anything. I love it. Look. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Flying off and that is it. I'm going to put my signature on that. Uh, I might come in and do a little detail on the... Yeah, I may do just a little more detail on it. I'm trying to think what I want to do here. Maybe bring in some shadows. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, so we'll do that. Some shadows. Uh, of the frame itself and then shadows of the dragonfly. Just thinking. Liking, see this was the paint pour that I did under it, which is underneath here. And I think I, it's so beautiful. Love it. And I love, the only thing here though is I don't, it bled somewhat. So I have to come in and kind of fix this area right here, I think. And uh, so that it looks better. It must have bled through there. That's all I can think. Because there is none of this. It's actually... I don't know what it is. Anyway, it's there and I'm going to get rid of it somehow. Alright. Trying to think. It's too wet right now really to work with it. I'm going to let it dry some more. Uh, before I come in and do shadows on it. All right, here we are. We are all done. Um, there's our dragonfly. Isn't that cute? Painted all the sides and everything. Gave it some shadowing. I'll take some pictures later. It's of course. So, there you go. That should be a good view there, I'm thinking. Okay. Have a good day. Give me a thumbs up or a comment or anything if you like it. Thumbs up is a like. Um, if you're not a subscriber, I'd love to have you. Uh, everybody have a great day. God bless.